Hi, good evening. December 28th, 2019. Three days left this decade. Um, this is basically going to be my third video about this decade, a year in review. Um, so we're going to talk about 2012. Now, 2012, it was started off pretty... Eh, it started off okay. Um, I had just been in work for, about, for only 25 days. And then the year got out when my sister turned 20... She turned 21. Hey, I think. Wait, let me think. No, close. Maybe she did turn 21. I don't remember. Uh, maybe it was 20. But uh, it was a... Uh, yeah, it was just a... It was a, gr it was a blessing to be out of that place. I wasn't paying them, but then I had to report to this... I had to report to the probation department for what I... You know, do that whole stupid orientation thing. You know, how that shit is. You know, it's just waste and stuff. And had to do all this stuff. Uh, some of this stuff, I was like, wow, really? I'm all this for that <laughs> you know I had to take some course and I had to take a polygraph test and just a lot of money just for basically nothing you know um I mean it was kind of a struggle the first couple of months I mean I still you know I was told when I was told oh you can't go drink you can't go party and I'm like okay well like I mean, I'm 23 years old and I'm being, or 24, and I'm being told to, well, in a sense, being told, I mean, it almost felt like my, my legal rights were taken away over something real, you know, weird, but, I mean, regardless, I mean, I didn't really do anything, I just, just, you know, worked, went to ball games, um, simple stuff like that, uh, also just, uh, in, I'm trying to think, um, so I was at my last tenure of at Men's Warehouse, and, uh, you know, I met new people, simple as that, you know, um, met more people, didn't really, I don't really think I dated, you know, um, stupid me, you know, I, uh, was a win this, I guess, I guess not really a relationship, with some woman who was separated from her husband, and it was, uh, it was a little weird, but, um, you know, that, that just was just one of those dumb things. That tells you how dumb I was in the summer of 2012. Uh, I mean, I mean, at the one point, I remember in uh, August 2012, I lost my job at Men's Warehouse after four and a half years of giving them a lot of, a lot of time. The, the regional manager, district manager, whatever, I forgot his name was like Jason Jackson or something, and he said, yeah, sorry, because of, uh, we had to make some changes. There's no options for you. I'm like, oh, great. So after four and a half years, I'm out. Signed the severance agreement. All I'm going to say is, you know, they pretty much took out a lot in taxes. They can do that, I guess. I'm not supposed to, not supposed to talk about it, but it was like seven years ago. What are they going to do? Um, so I was, uh, first time in my life, I was, un well, technically, yeah, I guess you could say I was unemployed. Um, so I was looking for a job, going to interviews, all that stuff. It was hard getting a job until I landed at, excuse me, a call center in East Lake. Didn't know anything about it. Just applied, got a job, and worked Monday through Fridays. Worked 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I had to make a little white lie. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not really, uh. I have to go to school on Tuesdays, even though I didn't have to. It was really for the whole stalker program or whatever. That thing was just kind of a waste, too. Um, you know, I just lived my life my own way. I still went out and went out and did my own thing and went to clubs. And, you know, if they invited me to the club, why am I going to, in a sense, you know, why am I going to, why do I feel like I have to, um, like, prevent myself from having a good time, you know, I was, I was in my mid-twenties, about to be in my mid-twenties, and I'm being prevented from doing that, or told not to do that, it was stupid, you know, when I took the polygraph test, I passed, but then, of course, they're gonna ask you, these probation people, oh, why are you doing this, why are you doing that, da, da, da. it's like, man, seriously, like, no laws were broken, and they still just want to give you a hard time, really, that's kind of how they do things, whether you break the law or not, I mean, um, it's just, you know, it's looking back, you know, um, 
you know, like in the beginning of uh, 2012. I, I this is this is kind of weird. I hung out with a friend of mine, and she we hung we met like two years prior to that. Um, she worked. She knew someone that worked at Victoria's Secret who knew my ex, and she was just like, "Oh, we were talking, catching up with other people at um at this spot in um I forgot what it was called Sushi Deli downtown." And somehow we got to that conversation, and she's like, "Oh, you know, let me check on her profile." And she gave this weird look to me. And I'm like, what is it? And she goes, you don't want to see it. I'm like, what do you mean? So she showed me the phone. And I find out, well, nothing really mattered. But, you know, at the time, my ex was down in a relationship. The one that decided to call the cops on me. At that point, I was just kind of like, yeah, I guess it's, you know, really time to move on. At that point, you know, when I'm 24, about, yeah, 24, you're going to be 25 in the following year. So that that to me was a little bit of a tough one. Um, I mean, it's just like one of those things, you know. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some in life, and um, I was just kind of got you know found a way to get past. It seemed like I needed that, like knowing that she was in a relationship at the time to find out. Okay, I can move on. I can move on. I can do my own thing. It was a little tough, but. You know, it was her choice. She got in a relationship, you know, like, a year, about a year and a half, we were both separated. It's about right, you know. She did something else. Okay, fine. You know, um, at that point, I, you know, at, around 2012, that's when I felt lonely and it was stupid me. I jump into this relationship kind of with this married woman that was separated in the summer. And, you know, there's like a 13-year age gap or something, but... And she had two kids, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this was just a wrong decision. So, but I mean, I went into, uh, November, I, I really can't remember, I don't even remember. Um, it's just a lot of going out, a lot of meeting new people, and that was about it. Nothing too crazy. Um, not a lot of action. <laughs> so, 2012, it was kind of a year of, uh, Starting over, starting over again. You know, I dealt with getting out of that stupid work furlough, finding out I lost a, you know, a, a relationship. I can kind of get over the whole thing. And then, of course, you know, the unemployment part being on EDD, unemployment for only like two months, so it was good. And then just, uh, and then, I, well, I hate to say it, New Year's Eve, I drank some, I drank a little too much Sailor Jerry, and then, bleh, I don't know how. That might have been the combination of the chips and the Sailor Jerry. I don't know, but I really didn't drink that much, and it got really, it was really bad. But anyway, um, so that was the wrap for 2012. If I miss anything, then yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure there wasn't a whole lot that year, just a lot of ups and downs, but whatever. It was pretty smooth. All right, um, until next time. Bye.